One of the problems with making EPUB files on the iPad is the actual restriction to being able to open them on the iPad only. But there's actually a, um, an app that I've found, um, not an iPad app, but a Google Chrome app, an app that you can use through the Google Chrome web browser to actually open up EPUB files that have audio and video in them. So you're not actually tied to opening up the EPUB files that you create on an iPad on just iPads. So the one that we've been using a lot in ISS is Boot Creator. So from your library of books that you have here, we can actually click down at the bottom and what we're going to do is just email the book to our email addresses. So this is actually an EPUB um, file that's attached here. You can also um, export the EPUB, the EPUB file as a PDF if you don't have audio and video in it. So that'll just you know be readable as a PDF, which is fine. So I'm just going to email this to myself and send it. And then I'm going to go to my email address and open it up and do the next few steps. So I've just received the email from the elementary school iPad with the EPUB file attached to it. So I'm going to download that to my computer. 666 kilobytes. Hmm. Okay, so that's downloaded. Now I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store and I'm going to install the app that I was talking to you about earlier. So if I go to the Chrome Web Store and basically look for an app called Redium, I can click and search for that. It'll appear here. If you haven't already installed it, it'll have like a blue button here. You just click install. Okay, when it does that, you can click launch app. But there's a couple of different ways you can actually actually access your app apps on your Google Chrome browser. You might have a little thing here with apps that'll show your apps, or you can just do Chrome colon slash slash apps and it'll list up the, all the apps that you have. So if you click on Redium, add items to your library here, click on that, you choose a file from your computer. Okay, so that's gone into our downloads folder. There it is there. Click open. Alright, so that's my testing, testing one. And so if I play the audio files now, this is the testing part of the Okay, so the audio file works. Creator. And videos work. So right now, you have the ability then to actually have a library of your EPUB books. And they will all be listed here. There's no way to actually share your library. It's all very local to your computer. But at least you have a, um, an area that's not on the iPad that you can actually store all your EPUB books. And you can also maybe send instructions to your parents to actually do this too.